Didn't he say not to touch the glue? Why is his hand directly touching the glue? What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with more of Gravity Falls. And we're nearing the end of the series at this rate. So don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. If you want to vote for what series we do next for our cartoon series, we currently have a poll in the community tab of YouTube here on Alicia X Life. We have the vote between Adventure Time, uh, Amphibia, and Steven Universe, and she -Ra. So if you want to vote there, then you can determine what we go into next. But uh, let's get into things. <laughs> Oh, don't forget to get the Patreon for early access to reactions. Unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut. Now let's get it. That's a sleepy boy. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Goddamn. Oh, what's the upside down fantastic message? Thirteenth <gasps> birthday. Okay, that's cute. The pictures are cute. Coming up already. <gasps> Soon we're gonna be actual teenagers. Okay, are your parents gonna see you for your birthday, <laughs> or are they just still like letting you stay there for the summer and not interacting with you? Because I feel like you haven't really interacted with your parents at all. <laughs> Oh, God, that stressed me out so much. <laughs> you are. <laughs> it's on my bed. The future is coming for us all, dudes. The future. The fu Do not eat crackers in your bed. Do you know how crummy that gets? Your grandma had a great point. There's other snacks you can eat in bed besides crackers. Crackers are a terrible, terrible time. <laughs> They're so cute. It's, it's so cute. I love them so much. <laughs> It makes my heart happy. <laughs> Sorry. Something in the intro, I just wanted to see you again. Oh! When it doesn't have... The episodes that don't actually have... Um... Ford in it? They don't show his picture in the opening thing. Only the episodes that have him, it has a picture in the opening. His picture wasn't there that time. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, where do we stand with the gnomes? Goofuses, shoofuses! <gasps> That's what my, this is what my fiance call each other. We call cute things. When we see like babies or we see each other, we're like, who's being a goofus, shoofus? And a big old boofus. That's, that's like our thing. We like call everything goofuses and shoofuses and boofuses. <laughs> Sorry, it's very exciting to see someone else say it because like we say it all the time, and I don't even mean like oh like you know once in a while. we say it like ten to fifteen times a day. We refer to everything as one of those. <laughs> so yeah, and then like if one of us has to like burp or cough, we call it a begurglewitz. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why we talk the way we do. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the problem with like being married to your best friend, okay? Him and I were best friends for like a full year before we started dating. So like we're just mentally like on the same page. <laughs> little bits of the undead and the couch cushions. Oh. Hey, the undead karaoke party was fucking lit, though. Just saying. That episode was fire. This is on fire. Yes, it's much faster than shaving. Now, listen. Oh. We have a very important mission, and you are the That is weird. I'm confused. Okay, you know what? I need. I just. I need a chocolate milk. That's all. <laughs> weird beginning. It's Armageddon, but weird and freaky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's one for my party mission and one for your smarty mission. <laughs> Aww. She's so supportive and sweet towards him. That's so nice. It's nice to see her character develop this much. Because before she was a lot more selfish when it came to things of like, especially when it came to that Halloween episode and stuff. Right? Like, it's kind of nice to see that she matured over the past year of her being like 12 turning to 13. Like that she's okay with him going on his own adventures and his own tasks and like being respectful of that rather than complaining to him about not being there for the week. Oh, I'm proud of her. Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Oh, I have never walked into a glass door before, but <laughs> my mom has, and it wasn't that long ago, <laughs> and it was so sad. <laughs> we so like we got like a new a uh, new deck on our house, and like to be nice, I like ordered like one of those, you know, like those proper window cleaners. That like you use like car washes that have like the spongy side and then like the nice cleany side. I got one of those things so I could clear. So I could like clean because there's a like, glass around the like the deck as well because like it has a like, glass railing type of thing. So I got one of those to help like clean it. So like I was like helping her do that and then I did the the doors. And I guess we never experienced non streaky doors because one of the first things she did was go for dunk. <laughs> Oh, like, I felt I was like, no, I should have left it dirty. No. <laughs> Boring. Oh. Can't do it. Can't do another year. My hormones are like a sweaty cage. I mean, this shit is just accurate to high school. I'm gonna be real with you, man. <laughs> like, yeah, high school was ass. <laughs> university, though, I loved university. Oh, bitch, that shit was incredible. High school sucks. High school musical, high school musical. Come in, come in. Hey, I know it'll make you feel better. Let's deliver some invites to your friends, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. 
Okay, well, <laughs> I think anxiety about high school is normal, though. It reminds me of keychains. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Extra trust. Okay. Yeah. Like a flying saucer. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. You sure it's not keychains? <laughs> you sure? I, I just want to double check. You don't just. No? Okay. <laughs> is still unknown. But that's crazy! Where did the saucer go? Oh, it's right here? Oh! That's valid. That's valid, Dipper. This is a lot to take in. Oh. Damn, those inner vest pockets are really putting in work. I feel like I should get clothing with more pockets. My clothing never has pockets. I can't believe there's been a giant UFO under the town this whole time. I wish my mind could be where yours is right now. Oh, man. When I become a mom, I'm going to be one of those comfy cardigan-wearing moms, you know? Like, the kind of mom that wears cardigans all the time. They're like the, they're like the little sweater thingy, but not really a sweater, but they're like just a little bit of cloth. They usually have pockets, though. And you, like, wear them, but you usually have, like, a, a nice shirt underneath or a dress shirt or something. A comfy cardigan mom. <laughs> It'll give me an extra two pockets to work with, which is good. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. We need Selfies. an alien adhesive strong enough to keep the hull of a spacecraft together. Turn on. Come on already. Oh. That was cool when he did it, though, but damn. That's good. Boom. Me and Dipper did <gasps> birthday. Boom. Damn, her, her man's. Um, right, Candy? Sorry, Mabel. My parents sent me to music camp this time. Band camp really be like that unlucky girly. I never went to it. We couldn't afford it. Summer loving happened so fast. I met a girl crazy for me. I met a boy cute as can be. Summer days drifting away. Oh, oh, they're summer nights. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> this is their storage facility. This place would have been heavily. Oh, I don't think it is now. Y'all be walking through with laser beams. Oh! <laughs> yeah, me and Clara were thinking the same. I'll tell you what. <laughs> 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, them aliens look crazy. High school with a high GPA so I can get accepted to a good technical college with a photography and media production minor to start my own ghost hunting show. He's like a little version of me. <laughs> Severely ambitious. Yeah, they turned him into a YouTuber. Who watches cartoons. And thus, my years of university and film school mean nothing now. Hmm. But I make way more money doing YouTube than I do in any other career that I had, so. Bless up to that. I had a lot of careers before this one. This was the best pain. So you know what? Shit worked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I had my old job, I could not pay off all the medical shit that I had to get. So, you know, bless up to YouTube. Y'all real ones. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I've read your additions to my journal and I'm impressed with your potential. <laughs> Weakness, leaf blowers. <laughs> No, they wouldn't. No, they fucking wouldn't. Most parents don't give a fuck about your education. They care about your credentials so you can have a good paying job lined up to have a successful future. They don't give a fuck about the education you, sh you learn. Oh, wow, you learned in your free time? Too bad you don't have the, the, the fucking credentials to get a nice job that's good paying and can support you and your livelihood. What? Oh, you're going to just learn from your crazy uncle? That's your learning and education system? How are you going to make money? How are you going to support yourself? Oh. You're going to live in a cabin in the woods? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> uh-uh. Gosh, we've never really been apart before. And isn't it suffocating? Okay. Oh, man. Okay. So the thing about this is twins is a whole different thing than siblings. Okay. The little connection that you have to a twin is vastly different. Right. And I think it's good for them to each have their independence. But I think it's fucked up to make that decision without talking to each other first. Kind of like how, like, when it came to, like, Ford and Stan, they never had a full conversation. They just kind of like told each other what they're doing and then they got upset with each other and then it moved on without being properly like properly fixed or spoken about in like honesty. And it's like, I don't want the same thing for Dipper and Mabel. There are two kids who want the best for each other. And if they had a real conversation or even talk to their parents about it, I feel like all these things could help make the decision rather than it just being an independent decision. Because I do think that him staying for Mabel isn't healthy. Right. But I think that she should still be involved as a part of the decision, as well as their parents. Right. Just to see like, oh, cool. Like, if you're not OK with me being here alone, like you like want to see me more, then how about we organize that I come visit every this amount of times a year or like in addition to blah, blah, blah. Like you like kind of like work it out to make sure that they feel comfortable, too, even if you do want to accept the opportunity, which is fine if you want to like further your career and go into this line of work. But you have to make compromises for the people you love. It's a part of life. And same thing for Mabel is that she has to understand too that if your brother wants to go off to do like what some of his dream line of work, you have to let him. But also there needs to be compromise there too, where he has to be able to be a part of your life still and be active in it. Let's get a picture of this. Uh, Michael Ford. Didn't he say not to touch the glue? Why is his hand directly touching the glue? I mean, the adhesive. Oh. Here, and they won't see you. What? It's okay. I've done it before. Just take.
Oh, we're like directly making references to the Matrix, right? <laughs> like, like high key. <laughs> I'm glad he zipped his backpack so it won't like fall in and break. Holy shit, it is just the Matrix! They even have the pods! No, no, no! Don't worry! I'll think of something! Oh damn, it's like a sperm. Come on! I'm happy he can... Oh. Can he breathe in outer space? Does this family have a special attribute that I'm not aware of? Oh, good. It's oh, it seems like it's crashing. Maybe that's not good. Maybe that is good. Okay, he basically just EMP'd that shit. Good for you, Dipper. What the fuck? That was insane! Yeah, I hope I hope Ford's alive. <laughs> That'd be a really dark moment for the show. Yeah, you alive. Come on. Oh shit. Feel no fear. Come on. Oh, he calm as hell. He motivated. He got no fear. He angry. He said, fuck with me, pussy boy. Fuck with me. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Get it done, Zipper. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. Didn't detect any chemical signs of fear. Damn right you did. Really none. Honestly, no 12-year-olds. Me, 12-year-old, no shot. When I was 12, uh-uh. Not even close. This kid is this kid is incredible. Good for him. Nobody likes getting older, but just because you're growing up... You know what's the worst part about high school? It takes sweet, happy, positive girls like Mabel, and it turns them into fucking rotten bitches. You know why? Because they're happy, sweet girls, and then they assimilate to the culture of other girls who nag and bully others. Or they get made fun of, and they get bullied. Oh, you're too happy. Oh, you're so weird. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 right? And it's like, dude, having a, such a happy, sweet girl... High school fucking ruins them, man, and it sucks. It just sucks. You know, I knew a one girl, and she was she was kind of like Mabel. She was one of my friends, and they fucking r r rang her through the dryer when it came to like being fucking mean to her. And then she ended up hanging out with like the druggy crowd, right? Like the ones who were just hopped up on some bullshit all the time, because in order to be like less excitable and less like like hyperactive which she didn't have adhd or anything she was just a hyperactive kid she was a happy person was very bubbly she started like smoking weed like every day at school because she was like needed she wanted to like fit in with everybody else more because she was just such a happy kid and she'd to, like chill out and that fucking sucks you know like she felt like she needed to like self-medicate to match everybody else's personalities 
And she was an excitable sweetheart who was a big, she was such a horse girl. She was super into horses. She's one of my best friends. We grew up like being basically tied up at the hip. And, you know, when she started hanging out with the other crowd and stuff like that, I didn't, I don't, I didn't affiliate with drugs or anything. So I felt, told her I felt uncomfortable being around them, but I'm like, I'm always going to be happy for her. Right. And, um, she just didn't feel like herself anymore. So I didn't really want to like, I wasn't really, I just, not even that I really want to be around her. I just grew distant and it just, it just sucks because, you know, happy horse girl who, you know, just was just so sweet to everybody. And she also liked to collect stickers. And like all that shit was gone in high school. You know? Yeah. But on a really good note, for those of you guys who want to hear a happy ending, uh, she now has four kids and is married. And she's very happy now in life. I want to let you guys know that. So there's a happy update for like her current day. But high school sucked for her. And I'm glad that she like has a good life now. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't say that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no. Because then... Oh... Listen to me, Dipper. This town is a magnet for things that are special. And that includes... No! She's gonna overhear this! Ah, tee the fuck up. You need to talk to your parents and Mabel first, okay? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh. And... The, the, the realistic thing is there's times in your life where you're going to check in with somebody for something that you want to do that you will do regardless. But the whole point of checking in with them is compromise. Right. There's times even in my relationship where he'll want to do something. Right. And he's going to stick to his guns and do it. But he'll make sure to compromise with me and vice versa. Or I'm like a super motivated to do something. I'm going to do it regardless, but you need to you need to meet them halfway on what they find acceptable, what they're comfortable with and what you're willing to do. Right. Because making decisions that are only like with yourself in mind isn't a healthy mentality to have, especially with family. And. Truly. Right. If you're, you feel like your family is disrespecting you in that conversation, then yeah, fuck it. But they at least have the right to feel heard and everyone has the right to feel heard. You have the right to feel heard about what you want to do, and they have the right to feel heard about how they feel about it. That's all. That's called healthy communication. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to agree, though. Because if they still kind of, like, treat you like shit over it, then that's, like, you know, it's messed up. Mabel! I just had the best day of my life. I just wish summer could last forever. You know what's actually even more depressing about the situation? She doesn't feel like she has her parents. Did you notice that? When she talks about feeling alone and abandoning everybody? She doesn't think about her parents as feeling close to her. Holy shit. What is these kids' relations with their parents? Because they don't. the parents don't call. They barely check in. What is what is going on with these parents to the point where like. And I get it that she has like, you know, separation anxiety from her twin, like that makes perfect sense, right? Because they've always been attached to the hip. But. It's like one step further because you'd at least be like, you know, I at least I have mom and dad, but I want to have you too. But there was nothing like that there. It's like she thinks she's genuinely going to be alone when she leaves everything behind. And it feels like to her, the highlight isn't just summer and having fun, but actually being surrounded by everyone. So it's like, what is happening at your house that makes you like that relieved beyond just like high school shit, right? 
I wish I knew more about that, about like the parents and what's going on with them. Because sometimes, like when it comes to parenting, parents, like at the end of the day, like they're people too. But when you get caught, when parents get caught up in their own bullshit, especially for parents that fight with each other, sometimes it can make the kids feel really isolated and codependent with each other because they don't feel as much affection from the parents because the parents are like, you know, going at it. Like when it comes to like not being like interactive or loving because they're stressed out. And it makes me wonder if it might be that kind of dynamic for her to like just have such a fear of abandonment. Hey, she took Dipper's bag, right? Hey, she took Dipper's bag, right? That has the... That has the thing in it! Wait, that has the orb in it! That has the fr... Now. Is that Bill Cipher? Oh no, it's a time traveling guy. Time traveling guy. No. 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 Many falls can last as long as you want it to. But really? But how does it work? She doesn't know what it is, right? But it's also your uncle's belongings, and you shouldn't feel like, like it's okay to give that away to someone, regardless. You know? Oh, man. Oh, that just... This is so fucking sad. Mabel's making the worst decision. And, like, even, even if it was, like, a fucking snow globe, and it wasn't actually something important... Giving away something that doesn't belong to you just because they won't notice is still bad, and you should ask for permission. Like... Oh no! The rift! Huh. Say, no, please. Oh, Mabel. Oh, honey. I can't believe the beginning of the episode I thought you were getting less selfish. I was so proud of you for how much you're growing. But this... Oh no, honey. Oh man. That's... That's so fucking sad. Jesus Christ. And Bill Cipher. No waiting now. This is fucked. Oh, Mabel. Holy shit, that looks sick. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna be so real with you, man. <laughs> if my sibling did that, I don't give a fuck how much I love you. I hate you, bitch. You literally are ready to like, you are ready to sell out humanity. Fuck you. And it's like, you know, like I, don't, I don't know if I got it in me to be nice enough. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm a nice person, but I ain't that nice. <laughs> this is really fucking dark, dude. Jesus. The shrieking while showing this? God damn. Okay, kind of terrifying, kind of terrifying. Well, you know, YouTube, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Hope you're excited for the final push of Gravity Falls coming up because we're in the final few episodes now.
Hit the like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Don't, don't forget to check out Patreon for early access to reactions, unfiltered, uncensored, uncut. We'll see you later. Bye.